Hi, who and a great day. You're watching GG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going to order the first reactions and reviews from the Little Mermaid as the social media embargo has lifted, and of course, it just had its premiere last night. So let's get into it. So first of all, I'm gonna go over the format of this video. So I'm to the side like this right now, and I put the tweet right here of the first reaction. I'm gonna name the critic, and then I'm gonna read it out loud. You can pause the video if you wanna read it yourself, but then after that, I'm gonna kind of explain what they're trying to say. So let's get into it. So the first critic comes from Fel as Felicia, and that's what she said. The Little Mermaid makes it pretty close to being the best live action Disney movie. However, it still struggles in the villain department. Halle Berry is Ariel, and I had literal chills throughout her performance. This is a Little Mermaid retelling like you've never seen it before. So this is fairly positive, saying that it's pretty close to being the best live action uh, Disney remake, which is really good, saying that Halle Berry is Ariel. So clearly her performance was great as the character, which is really great. And that I, it's definitely something that like you've never seen before. So it definitely has some originality, which I'm really excited about. And of course, the runtime is almost like an hour longer than the original. So that makes sense that they have some new things to it. However, they said that it struggles a little bit in the villain department, which is interesting enough to just note. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. But still pretty positive. Now, the next version review comes from Adam. And Adam says, The Little Mermaid Review. Delightful and emotional. The Disney magic is back. A beautiful coming of age adventure with awe inspiring imagery and action that makes you wet. I don't know what that means, but anyways, let's go back to it. This isn't just another remake, it's one of the best family films ever. A fitting and setting up what's next. So, this is fairly, like, really positive, not fairly, but it's like really, really positive. Really saying the Disney magic is back in full caps, saying that it's beautiful, a coming to age story, and apparently there's some really good action. I, a little bit weird wording in that re in the first reaction, but I guess yeah, just really good action apparently, and that it's not just another remake, but it's actually like one of the best like family films ever made. I don't know about that. I feel like they're like, a little overblowing it, but that's interesting. But it does say that it has an uh, fitting end to set up what's next, which is why I kind of included this here because it said that it does have indeed a, a fitting end, which is really exciting. I mean, uh, this movie will most likely get a sequel if it's successful, which I definitely think it is, just because it's the Little Mermaid. I think it's gonna have to be successful. So yeah. Now the next attraction comes from Zoe. Rose Bryant who said The Little Mermaid is a live action remake that retains the heart and soul of the story we know and love and is elevated even farther by a note. Perfect story making performance from Hailey Berry. She was born to be on the big screen and she's why the new take is worth watching. So very positive and really praising uh, Hailey Berry's performance. You know this whole new remake is worth watching just because of her performance and saying that this one is actually better than the original by having uh, along, uh, by retaining the heart and the soul and yet somehow still being able to live with it. So that's pretty interesting. Now this is all she said. She also said Hailey Berry's chemistry with Jonah Hunter King is so infectious and natural and a huge high point for the film. While Melissa McCarthy devours every second of her screen time. The BFX aren't always perfect, but far better than some subpar trailers would let you to believe, to be honest. So that's also very positive saying that Hayley Berry's chemistry with uh, who's the character, uh, actor who's playing um, Prince Eric um, is really infectious and that it's really natural. So that's really great. That, that's very positive. Uh, and of course, they did mention that. They said it's a huge high point for the film. So that's great because we really haven't seen that much in the marketing from them. So I'm glad it worked. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work. Now they say Melissa McCarty, who is playing Ursula, the virus every second she's on screen. So that's positive. A little contradicting the other first reaction because the other one said they had a villain problem. I guess here they're saying that she did great. So that's very interesting and that the VFX are, are, are pretty good even though they're not perfect they're pretty good which is some great stuff because some of these these clips haven't looked really bad and they mentioned it here they say some clips will look bad but in the film it looks great so that's very positive glad they worked on it more the next question review comes from big screen leaks who said the little mermaid is fantastic rock marshall's great direction gives us one of disney's best live action remakes and a joyful theatrical experience highly berry is perfect as Ariel and it's the heart of the movie. It's an enchanting journey under the sea. I can't wait to rewatch. So very positive, saying it's fantastic, saying that uh, uh, Rob Marshall's direction is great. Of course, he's the director. And saying that it's, it makes for a great theatrical experience and a very nice uh, remake. So that's really awesome. And once again, praising Harry Berry as Ariel. So clearly she did a great job. Now, he didn't stop there. He also said, Lady Manuel Miranda's new contributions to the film are also very welcome. I especially love Scouty's new song, which is most definitely going to become popular on TikTok. So that's very interesting. So there is original music in this movie, to just worth noting. And it was created by Manuel Miranda, who of course made a bunch of music for Encanto, so that's a good sign. Big Screen Leaks then continued by saying, Aside from the phenomenal Hayley Berry, 
Dave Diggs steals the show as Sebastian. His great comedic timing is a difference maker in what could have been a bland role, but Diggs absolutely kills it. Definitely my favorite character in this adaptation other than Ariel. So that's very positive as well. I was talking really great about Sebastian, who of course has had very mixed re reactions due to his like new design, very much more realistic than the actual animated film. But it's great to see that his performance was great, especially as uh, Dave Dix had a good performance um, in the comedic timing. So I'm very proud of that and very happy that uh, that's going to be the case. Very happy. But of course, Ariel still is sitting out of this film as they mentioned. So that's really awesome. Now, we're on to a last fashion review, and this comes from Grace Randolph, who said, Hashtag The Little Mermaid is Disney's best live action adaptation. And that exosceeds not only as nostalgia, but as an often stunning film in its own right. Not perfect, but it's got the Disney magic and should definitely be seen in the big screen. Review Embargo lives 5.22, 9am Eastern Standard Time. So this is very positive, saying that it's definitely uh, the best live action adaptation of the film, which is not only person that said that so that's great and once again they mentioned that it's not just because it's a nostalgia thing but it's that's the only thing as the film and it definitely stunts as its own film which is great you don't want to rely on nostalgia you don't want to be a complete remake kind of like Lion King the Lion King was a complete remake almost shot by shot here no here you're gonna have a bunch of new stuff a bunch of new scenes and it has the Disney magic which is great um they do mention that the film is not perfect at all definitely not perfect but that it like I said it has Disney magic and you should go see it on theaters that's what they mentioned now, the another thing that I mentioned is that the review embargo, if you're waiting for a full review from your favorite critic, that's going to be on uh, May 22nd at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, a little bit before the film comes out, but it's still pretty close to its release date. So that's very interesting. But yeah, expect that review there. So yeah, mark your calendars. But yeah, that's all five different critics that I got for you in this video that I gave the first action review. Not a lot of people saw it, which is why I had to get like a limited poll. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you had a better idea of what to expect from the film. The good and the bad. So yeah, if you did, then please make sure to leave a like. It really very much helps. So please, please leave a like. I saw something in the comments. Does this make you more hyped up to see the film? And does it get your expectations higher or lower? I'm very curious. So me that down in the comments. And as you subscribe for a lot more content, especially when the film comes out, I'm going to make a lot of content about it. So subscribe. Yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And this is Jeremy Timmon. Out.